Hi, welcome back with Craft with Bailey and Dusty. First of all, I want to thank everybody for the comments that you said on my sea style art. I really like all the stuff that you said. So today I'm going to show you how to make some oops, little alien egg cartons. And I'm also going to show you how to I also going to show you how to make this cool design on your egg cartons. So first of all, you want to cut your egg cartons, and thank you, Sister Brown, for giving me all your egg cartons. So all you want to do is cut your egg cartons out. You want you can cut the lid and the holder that holds the lid together. You it make it easier to cut the egg holders. I'm cutting two right now, and that one cut the asbestos off so it can sit better on the ground and it don't do that to the other one and then you want to paint it so that let me get my bubble water here so I can rinse my brush off so I before a sponge because it make it more easier that it won't leave any I before us because it make for me it make it more easier because it doesn't show any brush strokes. Is that nice and flat? Not so anything. So I am going to use green and light green. So then you can get these big retainers at Walmart, or you can get these medium retainers at Dollar Store. They both work the same, I don't know what you use for it. Whoops, I did it both. That, okay. So, I want it, a really quick project to paint it. You might want to make sure you put paper down because the when you reach the bottom, you will touch the bottom. And I'll show you a trick that I do at the top make it more easier to do the top. Okay, so I'm at the top. What you want to do is that lay your brush flat and that turns it. It will not wreck the brush or the sponge that I'm using, but it will cover all the cracks. Okay. Put some stuff at the bottom. If you you can if you ha you have more time to do it, so you'll be able to get all of the egg cartons. So then I'll start it over here for now and show you the other egg cartons. To wash your sponge in a bowl, all you have to do is just stick it in that and squeeze it. And all the stuff that comes out and you will have a clean brush. Well, if you do it a couple more times. But I'm using the same green to make it lighter. So I don't really have to clean my brush that much. That mix white and green, and with white you can always use more or add more of white or green. But if you're making it darker, you can always add black, but you can't take away. So you want to be careful when you're trying to add black to the color that you want to make it darker with. Okay, it dries fairly quickly. So let, I have to show you what I'm using. You can use scraps around the house. I'm using this flower petal, which you can get dolls throughout the toy section. It's like a flower necklace. I had to cut the string and all these petals would come off. And I'm using a spaddle legs for the mouth. You can get these at dolls though. The only problem is you can only get these at Halloween time at dolls store. But then come in a whole package, so you can use them all year round. Or you don't even have to use bell legs for the mouth. I have a tree stem, a sea cell one, a sea cell. It don't know what you use. And I'm using googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can always paint the eye on, like I did. Yeah, and and yeah, you can always paint the eyes on. So I don't dump it on here. 
to make it more easier. I'm going to do one big eye. You can put as many eyes as you like. You can do eight eyes at your alien. What you like. You best do it. The legs are really easy to cut. See, I'm using safety scissors. That's how easy it is to cut an a cotton and a spider leg. So, right, so this area is dry now because you, lim that you use a limited of paint. So it dry fairly quickly. I'm using hot glue gun to show you how you do it. But you, if you don't, you can't use a hot glue gun. You can always use normal glue. I'm just using hot glue gun to show you right now. And that you can do it with a hot glue gun. But you can do it with normal glue. But if you want to use a hot glue gun, um, please add Owlop to help you if you're not allowed to use a hot glue gun. But please ask Owlop to help you. And then you can take your flower petal to stick it there. And it might color the face a bit if you do if you're using something like this. So all you want to do is take your scissors and cut a bit off the petal. So it has bangs for the hair. So that is how you make an alien. Oh, if you want, that doesn't have to be back here. If you want, you can always put some t um, tinsel at the dollar store in here to make a finger puppet. Or if you don't have tinsel, you can always use tin foil for it. I had to put it in there and stick your finger in it. And like figure figure it around and to if you're comfortable and it stay on your finger and you will have a puppet. So I will put one of my aliens here. The alien just made. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you can make this cool design here. Didn't see it. Oh, you can this cool design. Yeah, that's cool. So what you need here is um, is a bowl full of clear water. It doesn't matter what shampoo tool you use it as, it all works the same. So you can use any type of nail polish that you like. The cheap one, you can get it at the dollar store, that's the cheapest one I know of. And it works the same. So all you want to do is unscrew all the lint. Okay, it will make it more quicker to do the water. And you want it to be more quicker because it, because the nail polish dry fairly quickly. I got these at Walmart and then dry fairly quickly. So you want to do it quickly. So first before you start, this is my egg cup that I painted before. You want to take a toothpick or anything that you can put through it. And all you want to do is put a hole in the middle. Well, I did before. I can't really do it now. There we go. You might want to add to help you, that it can be fairly tricky at first. Okay, and then you don't want to do it. So, can you zoom up to the water, please? Alright. Um. Huh. So, all you want to do... No, close up. Oh, um, I second part for 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 this. Okay, so I'm on no time, so please join me for the second part of how to do it. So see you at part two.